Hello YouTube! Today's video comes to you in two parts. Part one. I don't know about you, but uh, I have become recently addicted to caffeine. And I mean, I've always loved coffee, espresso, you know, lattes, tea, hot chocolate, whatever. I've always loved these things, but up until recently, I never really, like, like needed them. Like, I could take it or leave it. You know, whatever. But now it's like, when I wake up in the morning, until I have coffee, no matter how late in the day it is, I'm just like... You get the idea. How about you? Do you do you have like this this dependency to start your day? Or other kind of dependency? I don't know. Tell me your life story. No, but really, like, I now depend on a cup of coffee or preferably an Americano because I don't want to have too much caffeine, there's less caffeine in um, espresso, but um, yeah, I now depend on this to start my day. Like, ugh, I don't like it. It's, it stresses me out that I depend on it and then I need more. What is this? You know, some people need their coffee, obviously, a lot of people need coffee, um, or tea, or uh, I don't know, what is it for you? Do you need something? A glass of orange juice? A cup of oatmeal? Some, you know, time to rock out to Iron Maiden? Like, I don't know, what do you need to, what do you depend on to give you that boost at the beginning of the day? Maybe you're just like a fucking asshole and you don't need anything. Maybe you just wake up and you're all like, <sighs> Good morning, good morning! And if that's the case, I hate you go die in a hole. But seriously, do you depend on anything? Part two! I'm sure I've mentioned this before, but pretty much since I started making videos on YouTube, every once in a while I'll get an inbox message um, that is something along these lines. I'm bringing it up now because I just re I got one like yesterday or something, and it's much shorter and more personal sounding actually than they usually are, but it's something along these lines. Uh, hello, I like your videos. I'm a pre-med student from Denmark. I'm trying to do an examination about young people's eye vision. Can I ask you, do you have both glasses and contacts? If you have, do you then have a strong prescription? From Jacob in Denmark. If I've asked you before, please forgive me. Okay, so that one's actually, compared to, you know, the, what I usually get, you know, actually seems kind of personal. Like, there's a name, they're like, yeah, I have this exam, and I, you know, sorry if I've asked you before. It seems nice. But I mean, all the time, not all the time, but frequently, I get these messages that are like, Hi, I see you have glasses. Uh, I'm just wondering, like, how many pairs of glasses do you have? Can you show us? What's your prescription? Do you wear glasses and contacts? What do you like better? How long have you been wearing glasses? Wh what? That's so weird to me. I mean, like, obviously there's some spam that we all get in our inboxes, like, Hey, click here, go to this website, I'll get you hundreds, maybe even thousands of new subscribers. Woo! But, like, glasses, contacts, prescription. This is so weird to me. That's like, if I were to just, you know, start spam bots and start sending people inbox messages and be like, hey, I see you like dark wash jeans. Do you also wear light wash, acid wash? Do you prefer skinny or flare? Like, what? I don't, I don't. Anyway, I'll see y'all soon and uh, have a good one and have a cup of java for me. Huh.